Hi Joan, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Quick recap on our lesson today. So we worked on two things really. One was if we look at the out the that line there with the club head, we can see as you take it away, your club moves to the right of that blue line. Uh, if we look at this lady here on the right and we do the same with hers, you'll see that her club head moves to the inside. So that's very important. That starts the, the backswing in a good position where yours is your left arm is moving away from you uh, as opposed to moving across your chest. Top of the swing's beautiful. I just don't like how it got there because of that outside move. Down swing's terrific. You make a great move down here. I mean, I'll just show you how good that is. That left arm's parallel with your feet, as we can see there. And we can see now that that shaft is cutting through your right forearm. If we look at this lady here on the right again, as she starts down, you'll see the same. She gets that left arm parallel with her feet, and then shaft cuts through her right forearm. So, in a terrific place there, Joan. I think we just need to, from there, turn the lower half a little bit more. We can see when you're coming in, firstly, there's not much clearance, so it's a little bit static. If we look at this lady here on the right again, look how much more rotation she's got onto the ball. We can see a lot more of her left leg. Uh, her right foot is starting to t you know, lift up where all her weight is moving forwards. And to help you fix that, what we did is we worked on trying to hit in front of the ball on a practice swing. We want you to try and hit down on the ball, which will get the ball up. So it's to take the club back on the inside with like a head cover on the outside here. Okay, on the way through we're going to turn hard and try and feel like we hit down and through the ball. And do that practice swing in line with the ball here and trying to hit past the ball. That will give you that feeling of moving onto it rather than trying to scoop it. You're a bit of a scooper. And we can see evidently here, I mean look how far the club has gone past your body. Uh, and how little you've turned. If we look at this lady here on the right again at that same stage, look at the difference. Much more clearance and she goes through to a nice finish, which you do, but it's that sort of fake golfer's turn as I call it. So work on one, getting the club head to move inside, two, trying to take a divot or hit through the ball and three, clear, clear them legs for me. Uh, two and three go hand in hand and uh, we'll see some great results and some uh, hitting it a bit further. Well done, thank you.